Have you ever read the book Hatchet? If you haven't, it's the story of a kid who, after a plane crash, has to survive in the wilderness. It's pretty good, or at least I remember it being pretty good. I liked it a lot as a kid. In fact, I liked it enough that one time, when I was going camping with my church, I and a friend decided to go off and try to get lost, inspired by Hatchet. We didn't get lost. In fact, our attempt to get lost was just kind of circling the campsite, but we had a good time nonetheless. In high school, I did yard work for this guy as a part-time job. It was a good way to make money, and he was a good guy to work for. When I was driving on my own for the first time, I went over there a Saturday to work, but took a wrong exit and got very lost. So I ended up showing up an hour, hour and a half later than I was supposed to, walk up apologetically to him already working in the backyard. He looks up, has this kind of thoughtful expression, and he goes, No, it's fine. We need to get lost sometimes. I don't really like getting lost. I'm an anxious person in general, and that tends to be one of the triggers. I don't like being lost. I don't like being late. I don't like not having at least the illusion of control. But I think this guy was right. I think sometimes you do need to get lost. Purposefully. Intentionally. In a way that won't trigger anxiety if that is something that you, like me, deal with. Going off of the beaten path. Exploring somewhere new whether that be physically going off the beaten path or just in the world of thought and introspection. That can open up new doorways, give you space to think about things in more complex ways. It can reveal things that were blatantly obvious if you just went around a different corner than you usually do. And in a safe environment, getting lost can be fun. So I took some time today to go out into nature and just kind of walk around. No real aim in sight, sometimes following trails, sometimes not, always within the bounds of this space. I got lost, and I have a good time doing it. Did I come to some profound realization? Did I have an epiphany? No, I didn't. But I had a relaxing walk. I saw some stuff that I hadn't seen before, and I got this footage of a creek. So let me encourage you. If you have the inclination, if you have the time, get a little lost. Friends and fellow Vedsies, till tomorrow.